That's on. It's on? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to AOB Motor Works. In this video, we uh, go through the middle of nowhere a few times to get my black car from where it was to my friend's garage so we can actually work on it. It's about 250 kilometers, I think, but it's going to take five days. <laughs> we got the tow rig here that we're going to finally use on Friday now, and the adventure started on Monday to get the black car from uh, a just about unknown location to the garage today, hopefully. And that might very well conclude the video. Day 475. Is it recording? Badly. Welcome to another episode of AOB Motor Works in the Winter. And uh, we're taking apart a, well, we're taking apart and putting back together a Jeep Commander, the uh, white Jeep that you may or may not have remembered. Holy crap, the legend looks like a block of ice. Um, I'm going to get the legend because yesterday it was about minus seven with the sun out so this all was way too soft you can't tell in the camera but this is basically straight down uh, but anyway this video isn't about the 5.4.7 because we got a rush because this beautiful weather it's not lasting Monday today is Saturday uh, it's almost noon too Monday um, all of this it's going to be covered in snow. We're getting... Forecasts are anywhere between, uh, let's say, six, and, six inches and a foot. And uh, we're in the middle of nowhere, so they don't salt here. A plow will pass every once in a while. This is properly in the middle of nowhere. So, Show you the legend because it's a block of ice check this out it is frozen solid you guys get a bonus cold start because it is minus 40 right now i have gloves on but they ain't doing nothing so i'm gonna get in the car shield myself from the wind oh that's nice that's some good leather Whoo! freeze your butt right off okay let's see Probably shut that off. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's cold. It is cold. All right. So that runs. <laughs> So, oh, I'm gonna close the door. What is that? Oh, those are shoes. I have effectively forgotten. Hole. Oh. It's so cold, the power steering is cold, has turned to gelatin. Power steering is stuck. You know it's cold when the power steering is stuck. Also, it's a good indication that maybe you need to flush your power steering fluid. Right. So we've dropped the engine and transmission and everything out of the, the truck and we gotta put the new one in. And anyway, long story short, we got way too much work and not enough time. And the deadline is a snowstorm on Monday. So uh, <laughs> stay tuned. Uh, the point of this video is going to be that I cannot work on a car that's got a 19 inch tall freaking hood or was that centimeters 
in uh, a foot of snow. It's just not gonna work. So we're gonna go get the black car so that I can complete the timing belt and get it back on the road before this winter ends. And that's gonna be what this video is about. Hopefully next video I can uh, give you some uh, advice on putting the timing belt together. But this video all I can give you advice on is don't do don't do the things that we're doing. Just don't. It's not, you don't, you just, I'm driving a car. Why do I do this? <laughs> uh, so yeah, stay tuned for uh, what's next. It's going to be in two days for me, but, uh, or hopefully tomorrow or whatever. I'm uh, doing the intro now because I figured you'd be able to benefit from a cold start. And, uh, you know, you can watch me suffer. It's fucking cold out here. <sighs> Seriously, I can't even turn my steering wheel. That's how cold it is. Alright, anyway, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the video. What do we do? <laughs> Figured I'd give you guys an update on the situation. Uh, we didn't leave Monday. It is now Wednesday. And uh, we decided not to leave on Monday because there was a storm about, I think, over an inch fell in an hour of snow so we took it you know easy and uh, I cleaned a bit and you know we did whatever didn't really rush but now it is Wednesday because Tuesday was spent realizing that we probably should have been rushing anyway and uh, there's some issue with the vehicle that's causing it not to start but I gotta I can't stick around because I gotta go to Nick's garage and uh, work there although it is past noon now and I'm still 20 kilometers away so I might just go there and stare at things because they're beautiful but uh, yeah so I'm 200 kilometers from home I just spent an hour doing 45 kilometers so that's I guess an average speed of 45 kilometers an hour um, <laughs> because it is snowing although the snow seems to have calmed down so I might be lucky uh, and I might be able to make, make good time here on but I uh, just figured I'd give you an update. Also, you may notice, this isn't my car. Uh, <laughs> I broke the mirror on the Legend by gently tapping it with the snow brush. So now I gotta figure out how to find the Legend mirror. Thankfully I'm connected, but the anger that flowed through my veins <laughs> saw that the mirror broke. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. I'm just going to keep updating uh, on the situation until the car is on the, you know, on the lift and getting worked on, I guess, because this has been an adventure. Six days of barely any sleep, thrashing to change an entire drivetrain on a Jeep, and then just finding out that it doesn't start. <laughs> anyway, my friend's dealing with the, uh, the wires and whatever, just trying to figure it out and I'm sure he can do it. I left him uh, my power probe and whatever so he can have an easier time of it. <sighs> anyway, next update. Next time there's an update, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> this is all going to be one video, but man, the insanity that's been going on, I can't even understand. Uh, anyway, this Subaru is serving me well so far. I don't know what kind of Subaru it is, but it's, it's beige. Well, operation get the black car back on the road is commenced. This is my co-pilot station and my battery is already dying so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to film today. Every battery in my bag is dying even though I just charged them. Ah the woes of filming during the winter. Anyway, uh, yeah, stuff.
We have arrived at the car. Uh, we're running out of daylight though. And we're on a time tr crunch because the tow truck's on the way. So uh, we've got shoveling to do. Here's the truck. Everyone likes the truck better, but that's not what we're dealing with today. My friend is helping. I'm not gonna let him do it by itself. So uh, I'm gonna get started. My friend, I'm filming. Look you is that? It's still. The ground. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not one with the earth. Look, it's like a like a melt on the ground. Well, yeah, the day that it was melty, I lifted it off the ground, so it might be fine. But look at all this snow over here. Sorry. Look at that. It's as tall as the hood. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get in there. <sighs> well, how, how long have we been, since we started? You going to point it at me? Yes. All right. Thank Go ahead, fun. sir. How long since we started? I don't know. I didn't, get, I didn't count it. I, I didn't think it's been like a few minutes. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I thought it would take quite a while, but it uh, didn't take long. Okay. We already have all the snow off, mostly. There's just, uh, can you see the driver's side? It's as tall as the hood still of snow. And then I gotta slip in there and try to get the wheels straight. So, <laughs> that'll be fun. But uh, for the most part, it's out already. I'm surprised at how well it went. And uh, now we're just waiting for the tow truck. And we're losing daylight real fast. It's already, there's already lights on everywhere. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, can't wait till it gets on the lift though. Ah. What? Okay, it's filming. You are losing light. Yeah, we are. Daylight. Okay. I'll just pop my head open with this shovel. The most frozen I've ever opened this door, I think. Jeez, Les. There. It was the gloves. All right, we're in. Now we got to turn the wheels. <laughs> I should give it a shot or, should, or would I just break something? Probably just going to break something. Where did I put the keys now? There they are. Okay. We're going to try to start it. No, we're not. Still no timing belt. That's not going to work. How low is it? Jack it up. I don't know if I moved at all. My hand's starting to get a little cold. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe because it's minus 25. <laughs> oh, it seems to be coming along nicely. Yeah, it's already rolling. Huh? He figured out how to put it in neutral. Because without a battery, it doesn't go very well. Well, he's adjusting the wheels as he goes. I could have sat in the car, but... It's hard to see what to do when you're inside without... Oh, look at it go. Look at it go. That seems to be like an actual remote control instead of even being attached with a wire. It emerges! <laughs> when, when was it? It was put there in like last winter. Huh. Now he's gonna drive forward I guess. Okay, we'll turn this off for the adjustments. Okay, bumpers inside now. Uh, uh, we should take the taillight off. You have another one. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but I don't want to fall off the car. Oui, va endommager la côte de fil. It's not held on by anything. 
Here, here, here. Record me real fast. I think so. I was worried because you know it's frozen on top of having been crashed into. So why are you back? In it's gonna be a car soon. It's a bit cold, eh? I'm gonna come around this way. The truck that everybody loves more than all my other vehicles. Uh, I don't know if there's. Maybe there's a brush on the interior, but. Four minutes. float next time you see it it'll be at its destination Well, uh, welcome back. Rubusu is over there. Um, Legend is back, although completely off topic, but uh, that happened. It's taking the snow off. And, uh, welcome back, it's the next day. Uh, we are at the destination, but without the car. So <laughs> that happened. Uh, we got dropped off in the middle of nowhere basically at a gas station that we didn't ask for by CA. Uh, more on that later. But uh, now we need to make a vehicle that can actually tow, operate. And that's going to be this Jeep here. This, this Jeep here. So that we can actually go pick up a trailer to go pick up the car that's about two hours away. It'll be fine, I'm sure. I'm sure nothing... I'm, it'll be fine, for sure, for sure. So, I'll give an update uh, on the car situation when there's an update to be had. <laughs> update! Oh, the light over here? Don't oh, fall, oh boy. So that's not good. No. But, oh, it's coming all the way out. All the way out? It's... <laughs> anyway. We're gonna get this fixed and hit the road. It shouldn't take too, too long. 
And hopefully that's all. Uh, yeah, but the problem is we're gonna fix on our way because I do have an odd driver shaft. Yeah. But it's from a 2005. Oh. Yeah. So it's the same coupler here, but not there. Oh. <laughs> the plot thickens. We're gonna. We'll do what we can. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, we, go. we got a plan, yeah, so okay. that's good. We got to turn it off and lift her up now. Yeah. Okay, I'll go. Well, anyway, I'll go get the hats so we don't damage our craniums. Okay, we got a plan. <laughs> so the drive shaft needs to be repaired. Thankfully, it's not, you know, more than that, like we thought it might have been. So we're gonna get on that and. Uh, you're not here for this, so I'll just update when we're on the road. Okay, it's filming. Alright. So I, I cannot work, he, don't, he doesn't let me work all the time filming, 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 filming. <laughs> and now he wants to light it up the fire with acetylene torch. Yeah. Oh my lord, give me some patience. Where's the... Oh, it's here. Manage yourself, man. I don't know. Pull your thing together. Pull your crap together. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 that's too much. Oh, you have a... Oh, boy. We're going to light this fire, Charles. <laughs> or I'm going to light myself on fire, one or the other. That's because he, he, he thinks it's funny. Light it up a fire. Very expensive gas like acetylene torch. So, huh? No one does this. You said do it. Yeah, do it. Just once. Yeah, Just to have fun. Huh? Just for the camera. Because... I love like friend, like a friend, you know. <laughs> That's what happens when they have friends and they like them. <laughs> you know? And we're only lighting the fire because the tools aren't working. Oh <laughs> uh, no! Yeah, I know. The handle broke somehow. So. Well, that's yeah. A, yeah. All right, that'll do. For now. And why not? One of these little things. Sure. Well, in the last clip you'll never see because I wasn't recording. Uh, <laughs> I was starting this fire. Actually, I recorded some video. I just didn't record the audio that I was planning on recording. Growing pains. Anyway, please enjoy the spontaneous combustion of the paper I just shoved in there. If it's not spontaneous, It'll be forcefully. <sighs> anyway, so <laughs> where where was I? Where's the mic? There it is. Where was I? As you can tell by my voice, I am uh, pretty tired. It is now day three of the bring my car to a garage. This garage in specific saga, which I didn't ever think it'd be an actual saga, but here we are. Um, Monday night, we had the car picked up by CA, and uh, they promptly dropped it off at an unknown location. A location that was unknown. Oh yeah, that was after a two and a half hour wait, by the way. You know, long enough to get the car where it was going. We waited to have them just pick it up. Uh, they dropped it off around, I think, nine o'clock at night. Maybe not even nine o'clock at night. Uh, at like just a random place. They didn't tell us where it was. I mean, initially, they eventually did, obviously, but they didn't initially tell us where it was. The tow truck operator dropped it off, didn't tell us where, and left. And, uh, I mean, even later on, we were talking to the one, like, closing employee that has no power over the situation uh, at the gas station, which, it's not even a garage. What, what benefit do I have from having that car dropped off at a random location that isn't even capable of opening the hood? Like, I don't know. Anyway, the own, uh, not the owner, the, uh, like, just the employee, basically, that worked there for closing said that even he had the impression that the tow truck operator had no desire to continue work at all. And considering the two and a half hour wait for the tow when the guy was sitting at God knows where, like 20 minutes away, uh, we should have probably, should have probably put two and two together there. But anyway, <clears throat> so 
Now it's two days later, and the car is still there. And uh, Max, I mean, I got to call the place again. I called yesterday. They said I had two days. So I got to call again to make sure that they are aware that we're coming for sure tomorrow morning, like as early as possible. And hopefully it'll still be there. I don't know. But uh, I'm not very happy with the service that was offered, and neither is my friend. I mean, to be rude and like the guy's been a client for over a decade and they literally don't seem to care about whether or not he he continues but you know apparently he's used more ca than uh, the average person so i guess ca would be happy to be rid of the, rid of him because ooh, you know he's using what he's paying for i can't believe that anyway so the point is <laughs> The, the point is the car is about an hour and a half from here and I don't know if it's going to be there the next time I get there I mean I can hope so right because the owner of the place that I finally spoke to said you're good for two days but like he didn't seem happy about it so I, I don't know I mean it's not in his way but it's not pretty either so that's the thing there's no winter tires on it there's like it's not in any shape to run there's an accident on the back left with a tail light missing like it's not a pretty sight to behold but you know that didn't seem to bother anybody that decided that it should be dropped off there without anybody's permission and nobody's permission not my permission not the ca membership guy permission not anybody not the guy who who owns the property's permission they just dropped it there and left I, I literally am flabbergasted by this turn of events. I, I can't fathom any level of customer service like allowing this, much less than backing it up with, no, too bad, we're not towing it again. Le we're leaving it there and you can deal with it. Like, I don't understand. It's not like he's out of option. Like, he doesn't, he still has like towings on his premium account but they don't want to freaking do it so i can't believe it and they put us in a bit of a situation because the flatbed would have had very little trouble getting here but the roads are such that a car to towing a trailer with another car on it would be very very sketchy but we're not gonna have a, ch a choice we're gonna have to do that tomorrow and then I guess if we end up in the ditch, CA can deal with that. <laughs> oh my God. If we end up in the ditch, they can have fun with that. That's for sure. Man. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this dying fire. Actually, what I'm going to do is give it some more fuel. Inflamed. I really need you to heat this building, so you're gonna have to deal with frickin' lighting up. That's the sweet spot. We fix electrical motors. Haven't seen that except but once. We work on cars, we work on engines, and we work on fire. Anyway, stay tuned for the next part of this uh, adventure. Adventures usually entail some level of enjoyment, but anyway, stay tuned to the, you know, the next uh, scene, essentially, in this video, uh, where we don't know if the car is going to be there or if it won't or if we're going to make it back here with the car, or if we won't. I don't know. It's going to be an exciting uh, thing to film, I guess. If anything, <laughs> I didn't enjoy this, but the entertainment level must, uh, you know, be taken into consideration for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it in, you know, whatever capacity that somebody can enjoy watching somebody else not know where their car is. <laughs>
Dude, where is my car? Well, I know now, but do I? Anyway, stay tuned. The next installment is going to be the reveal of whether or not I still have a car. <laughs> That's more like it. That'll do quite nicely. Eventually it'll oh, eventually burn all the moisture out and actually be able to heat the building. Oh, that's filming. It's a camera. Yeah. Oh, great. Very nice. Oh, oh. that's Andrea. He is driving. I am. And uh, today, uh, to, to tell you uh, what's happening here, Andrea, right, uh, uh, how can I say that? It's a, uh, he is, uh, 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 hire a new uh, 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 narrator for his channel. Oh. Turn left onto Nord. Yeah, wow! And they even have a GPS voice on the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so he is uh, 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 driving now, uh, not in the jeep that we were supposed to fix to him, <laughs> like uh, 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 to go get the oh, there's, the freaking there's over there. The, the freaking the the trailer. Ah, North. Quebec 61 North. Uh, and that's the stop sign. If I know. you guys don't know, uh, that means stop. Yeah. So he's, he's, he's doing great. He's driving. I know, so far and we're still alive. Respecting like the laws and uh, guidelines. To not for, die. Not, uh, yeah, not dying. <laughs> for, to not get a ticket and then they respect everyone that is in the road. Anyways. Um, this is the Jeep that we don't fix it. We didn't fix it. No, but we uh, did. Oh, oh, that's worse. a slide. This is worse. Uh, yeah, that's a slide. It, it, it probably. On yeah, we are going there. Okay, don't worry. Oh, battery is going down. Oh, oh sorry, it Andrea. Be, it needs to be warmed up. Oh, that's a. Uh, anyways, we are going to pick it up the trailer. At the far away from home, <laughs> and without the the the, 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 the white jeep that was supposed to fix it because it, the fix didn't didn't work, yeah. right? And we had to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. <gasps> Look at this. If you want to go, you know, off the road and die, then you can go ahead. Yeah, go, go truck. Someone, uh, someone else. They're uh, not, they didn't turn onto the road and, and almost hit the ditch at like. What's 10, happening so. here, people? Uh, it's crazy. a. Ice on the road, can you see it? Oh, no, no sorry. <laughs> That's what black ice is. Yeah, a little. Man. And this guy here has some issues seeing it, you know? I mean... Uh, no. <laughs> no, ah. Uh, he doesn't like my joke, we're, sorry. We're the narrator is gonna turn it off. <laughs> One, two, three, off.
Okay, 30 seconds here. Big moment. Trailer's finally here. Hooked up to a vehicle that's perfectly capable of towing it. Now we just need to get the car on the trailer. But like I said, we don't have the keys. So, uh... I'm just gonna update when it's on. Wish us luck. After a week <laughs> of, uh, of uh, struggling and trying and failing to get this car here, it's finally here. Well, that's the end of the video though. <laughs> um, I got, I'm going to walk off frame here I think, but should have put these in the frame. Whatever. I got this, which is worth more than the car, <laughs> to put on the car. Stay. I think it looks pretty good. Also, actually, I'm going to show you the color we're going to paint it once uh, the body looks, you know, halfway acceptable. And uh, then I'll end the video, but I am so happy to have this here it's like it's been ridiculous <laughs> the whole week was just like shaking your head like i don't understand which i mean uh, a couple last clip that i was talking in the garage like this you got a, a taste for it a feel for it so i'm not going to go over it again but man <laughs> car is here we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bear minimum her and uh, get her back on the road in I guess the next video. I don't know how I'm gonna split it up from here on. I didn't know how I was gonna split this one up because it's just. I mean, how do you? I'm not gonna gloss over the entire week, but I don't want to give you guys like a an hour long video on a car that doesn't really get any attention on the channel it's not the truck i know the truck you guys love but this car is not something that gets the views in but <laughs> the way this is gone i was like i gotta record like the whole process like i just it was started as a to-do video a how-to video rather to-do list <laughs> started as a how-to for the timing belt and now we've gone just way beyond any level of how-to and we are in pure havoc so it's now entertaining as well uh, <laughs> I guess this will be the first video in a series of, of actually repairing the car uh, from essentially scrap to the road again this is I mean it didn't sit that long but it sure is dead right now so I mean the word revival gets thrown around a lot but this is this is one even though it's only been like three years but I mean it's accidented there's rust I have no timing belt on it right now it's it's it needs work so it's not at all ready for the road right now which I guess is what a revival entails I mean three years uh in the north with salt and and humidity ra ranging to like a hundred percent like the brake all four brakes need to be done i gotta double check the brake lines the gas tank needs some help like it, it, there's nothing really aside for the seats that are all that good in here <laughs> so <laughs> 
Uh, tune in for the next video on AOB Motorworks. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate every comment and uh, every subscribe counts. I've been stagnant for the past like three weeks or so because I haven't been able to post a video because insanity has been going on. So, <laughs> this garage is the house of insanity. We are uh, very good at uh, getting just to, just just to the just to the limit of in over our heads before, uh, yeah, we just raise the ceiling and we keep going. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. So, this car is going to be worked on in the next video, and then hopefully a truck video after that. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a cold start, get it out of its freaking entombment of snow kind of video, which apparently is just the content that you have in the middle of Canada during the winter. I'm not in the middle of Canada, but you know what I mean. Uh, we had actually, for those uh, weather nerds out there, uh, I was following uh, the weather channel Ryan Hall, y'all. It's a good place to get some info. And uh, the blizzard of 2022 grazed my location. And I was very happy to, uh, to have experienced at least a part of it. It wasn't, it wasn't the main part of it. It wasn't three and a half feet of snow like in Massachusetts. But, uh, you know, we got like four inches and the wind is still howling outside. So I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> now I get to drive, by the way, seven hours. I think five and a half hours to, uh, to deliver the key for the gate from the place that this was. Because he said, you can have it because I have another, but I need it Monday morning. And I'm not going there at 6 a.m., so it's going to be today. Anyway, the car is running, uh, so I'm going to show you guys the, the paint um, that I'm going to paint this color. Uh, the Suburban that you guys haven't seen, unfortunately, is uh, purple, uh, the color of a shovel. <laughs> Ironically, we found that out after. The uh, color of this car is going to be, there's a teal wood splitter over there that is perfect and we're going to try to emulate so i'll show you that in a sec but uh, beyond that don't forget to like comment subscribe and tune in next time because the insanity has just begun there's the color in all its glory i had to clean it <laughs> Lots of dust in the garage, but I think that'll pop. It'll pop all right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Tune in next time. Oh, I don't know how to turn this off.